we asked you having a conversation about leadership effectiveness. It is important to understand that the crisis in many institutions has to do with leadership. And therefore, it's important for us who are in leadership to always look for a way of improving our effectiveness in our call to leadership. And consider that leadership uh, is really a calling that puts a demand on us to continue to grow in our skills and in the way that we do the things we do. Uh, there's a big question sometimes that has been there in the public domain, whether leadership leaders are made or whether leaders are born. But, you know, because for you to be anything, first you have to be born. So, but I believe there's a degree in which leadership are not just born naturally to be leaders, but they have a responsibility of personal development and improvement. Now, in the, in the journey, what we want to address ourselves to today is that those that are given to leadership need to be men and women that demonstrate responsibility and dependability. Uh, that word responsible uh, is a combination of two words, uh, ability and response, responsibility. And a leader must demonstrate responsibility. Responsibility in being able to respond to the call of duty without being pushed, without being, uh, you know, coerced, but understanding. I have a responsibility. I, I, I have been entrusted with a responsibility, and that responsibility demands of me to do certain things. There's a degree of leadership that cannot be delegated, really, uh, which calls for a leader to be able to call maybe it's called the shots and, and give direction. But besides that, a responsibility aspect is, the, is the being dependable. And the scripture I've uh, developed on this concept is uh, Luke chapter 16 and verse number 10, which says that he who is faithful in very little things uh, will also be faithful with much. He who is unrighteous in a very little thing will also be unrighteous in much. And you know, the scripture also says, to whom much is given, much shall be required. Now, one of the most important qualities a leader can have is a sense of responsibility and dependability. Now, this means displaying those traits in your individual work but also, uh, that's, that means, uh, that, means uh, that you are displaying uh, the traits in your individual work, and beyond that, you are demonstrating them also in your in interactions with others. Your team members need to know that they can depend on you to take on your, uh, to take your fair share of work and follow through. Support them through their tough times and help them uh, meet, of course, both the shared and individual goals. A leader must be able to come around the team and be able to find out, is, it, is there anything that I need to do to be able to enhance your capacity to fulfill the assignment? And that is why leaders, Whereas there is a degree of of of, uh, uh, of of independence, there must be that dependability to make the whole organization accomplish the goals uh, and the aspirations that are there. So I challenge each one of us to seriously think: uh, Am I faithful in that which is? entrusted to me. Like I've always said many times that leadership is a, uh, is a trust. It's a trust between those we are leading and with us who lead. 
And one of the most important aspects about leadership is to understand, uh, unlike what ha we see happening many times within the political scene, it's not just in like, Africa but around the world, there are people who, when they take the responsibility of leadership, they are always thinking about themselves. How, what is the best I can take out of this position? And they never, never think about the greater good of what it is, how can I use this position to benefit as people, as many people as possible, to give them hope, to give them confidence, to inspire their thinking. That is what leadership is about. To him who marches, given, much will be required. Lord, thank you for the things we continue to learn and we ask your grace and presence and we ask for your wisdom in all we do in Jesus' name. Amen.